Hey YouTube, I'm back again. Uh, just have the uh, the last of May 2019 pickups for you. Uh, pretty much what I've got over the last couple of weeks. I've got a great amount here, um, and a chunk of this is for well, not a chunk, but some of it is uh, bought for trading at CEX. Yes, we'll get straight into it. So, firstly, uh, Music Magpie. I've currently got a sale going on, buy one get one free, £2.49, it's mostly DVDs, um, in fact there's I think somewhere in the region of 17,000 DVDs, um, way too many to go through, um, but I did have a quick look over the first few pages, sort of search for the most popular, um, and picked a few that I thought might be worth looking at, and I found a couple of titles that uh do have reasonable trade in at cex um so yeah these were two for 249 so pretty much one pound 25 each um so i've got ironman 2 and uh, that trades in for a couple of quid so, and well i got one i thought i might as well get another one but i will get one free um again two pound trade in and i also got Complete series for heroes. Not sure why this is uh, worth what it is. Um, I think it's pretty much considered the worst of uh, of the series. But uh, yeah, this has got a two pound trade in, so grab that and second copy, uh, which this one is still sealed, <laughs> which I couldn't believe. But uh, yeah, so. Basically, they're all two pounds each trading at CX. Um, the only other one that I would have got, um, like I say, I didn't didn't look at a lot because uh, there's most of the stuff on there you look at, and you know, it's probably not going to be worth anything. There's probably stuff on there that I have no idea that maybe it's worth something. Because um, there's no way I would open every single one and start searching now on. CX website to see what the value is because that would take forever. But they had a uh, series three lost on Blu ray um, in that offer. Um, and I, when I went to add it to basket, this, this, it said there was only one copy available. Um, somebody had already got it. It uh, brought up that oops, somebody beat you to it <laughs> uh, thing that comes up when. When it's no longer available, even though it just said it was available, so I missed out on that one, unfortunately. Yep, so moving on. Also, well, I'm pretty sure this is going to trade in. Um, this came off eBay. It's uh, Pan 3D. Um, oh, it's a £2.50. Um, this trades in for a fiver. Um, spot this on eBay and thought, oh, yeah, I'll grab that. Uh, it's a 3D title, so I do want it for the collection, um, but at the same time, it's not a film that I'm in any hurry to watch. Uh, so to uh, do with my money and trade it in, I'm probably happy to do that and maybe get it again at a later date uh, for the collection. But trade it in while it's hot. Uh, and from Poundland, a couple of different visits. Um, the weekend, I was... Uh, uh, Poundland I don't go to that often um, over in Darlington and although they'd had clearly had a delivery since I'd last been there there was still nothing really new um, but I did pick up another copy of it was 50 years ago today um, the Beatles I suppose it's a documentary um, this is still trading in for £3 at CEX um, oddly enough I think somebody probably nicked the slipcover off this because there's no sticker, no price sticker on the front and no sticker over the barcode um, and they would have both been on the slipcover. So when I took this to the, in my basket I had a bunch of other stuff, when I took this to the checkout, it, when, it, when you tried to scan it, it just came up with an error because it didn't have the correct barcode and you put it through to a quid. So I wasn't going to argue. Um, so yeah, Got it for a pound and I'll trade it in for free. Three pound that is, not for free. Uh, and then another visit to Poundland, a uh, different one in uh, Middlesbrough. Um, 
one that's been on my Poundland wish list ever since I saw a couple of other people picking this up and just never found one until now. Uh, Independence Day Resurgent 3D. Yeah, so I'm really chuffed to grab that one. And Epic 3D. Um, again, really happy to grab that. Uh, this one, um, this one I'm pretty sure is, is brand new um, because the sticker on the back hold was on the outside so it was easy to peel off so I could scan it. This one, which still has the sticker, that's actually underneath the seal. So I'm pretty sure this is a, uh, a second hand one whereas Independence Day is very probably a brand new one. Um, but it's okay, uh, it's another 3D that I was happy to grab. Uh, then this last lot all came from CEX, albeit not necessarily from the same one at the same time. Uh, a couple of DVDs. I've uh, got Game On. Uh, this is the second series. Um, I have Series 1, I'm yet to find Series 3. Uh, very good comedy from the 90s. Do uh, enjoy this. It's a long time since I've seen most of these episodes. Um, so yeah, I hope you've got that. Another series set. Uh, we got That 70s Show uh, Season 2. Again, one that I was missing from the collection. I think I should have had a check. Um, I think this puts me up to Series 6. This was the one I was missing. Um, so now I, I can't. I'm not sure that I've got one to five or one to six. I, I want to say I've got one to six. So I know I definitely still don't have seven or eight. Um, so I'll still be looking out for those. But for, again, it was only a quid. I'm going to pick that up. Uh, and the rest of these are Blu-rays. Uh, I've got Derek, the first series for a quid. Ricky Gervais, once upon a time, I really didn't like Ricky Gervais. Um, as I've gone through this, I'm sure, before, way, 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 way back in the 90s when he did, um, oh God, I can't even remember the television programme now. Um, I'm sure it'll come back to me. Um, but certainly from The Office, I remember watching a, 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 an episode of The Office and absolutely hated it. Knowing at that point I was not a fan of uh, Ricky Gervais. Uh, from the 11 o'clock show, that was it. Um, and yeah, it's only in the last couple of years I've seen a couple of more recent things with him and, and quite enjoyed um, what I'd seen. And I did see an odd episode of this on channel 4, channel 5 or whatever channel it was on and enjoyed it so yeah for a pound I grabbed that uh, another Arrow release uh, The Exterminator this was £8 good cheesy 80s action movie I do like this film um, comes with the booklet I do have the sequel um, which I think came out from one or one films which I haven't watched yet um, but yeah this one's a lot of fun uh, Another season of Madman. Um, this is season six, um, which I didn't have. I think I only need the final season now um, to complete that. Baywatch on Blu-ray. Cover. Um, this surprised me. This movie. I was never really a fan of the TV show, um, and I I got this. I think in January or February, not not this, but I got a a, a digital copy given to me, um, which was in iTunes, um, and it actually redeemed, even though it was from the DVD, the digital copy I got was from the DVD, it still redeemed in 4K, uh, not that I can watch it in 4K, but uh, I enjoyed it, my point is, um, it surprised me how much I enjoyed it. Um, you know anything with the rocking i'm more than happy to give a try um yeah and this was this was a lot of fun um but it also means there is a digital copy in here which i don't need now i don't know if it's been redeemed um it should still be in date but like i say it's been redeemed but uh yeah you want to give it a go um obviously you're going to need an itunes account 
to redeem this. Um, and like I say, uh, I always say, if it works or if it doesn't work, either way, just let me know in the comments. Um, it'll uh, save other people trying it if it's already been redeemed. Uh, so yeah, hey, watch. Uh, give it a try. It's a lot of fun. Uh, some more arrow. This is the limited edition HMB exclusive uh, Blade of the Immortal with the slip cover. Um, that's the alternate artwork. Um, the other side been pretty much the same as that. There we go. We've got the disc and the buckler. Exactly the same as the slip cover. Um, I haven't seen this yet. But for six pounds, I think that was a bargain. Uh, again, from CX, this was a fiver. They've had this, and I want to say it's probably this actual copy on their shelf since it was 12 quid. I, Im I imagine that was very shortly after it was released, and the price has been coming down and coming down. Um, and it finally got to a sweet spot of five power. I thought, yeah, I'm gonna give that a go. Um, the cast looks pretty good. Um, it's got a slip cover. Um, I watched this the other night and I enjoyed it for the most part. It was, uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Uh, and then finally, uh, again on 3D, we've got Coraline, and um, this is the actual 3D version. I do have a copy of this. Um, on Blu-ray, but it comes with the uh, the old anaglyph 3D glasses, um, which I don't like those. Uh, so yeah, I was more than chuffed to grab that. Two pound fifteen of the 3D to add to the collection. Right, so that's it. That's everything I've picked up over the last, I guess, a couple of weeks. Um, I've got a little bit of stuff uh, on order. Um, actually, yeah, it's something that I, I only bought last night um, it was uh, zoom.co.uk uh, their zoom day yesterday um, I think it's still rolling on today actually so they've got a bunch of offers um, so yeah I, uh, I grabbed a few things from them so they should be coming in the post sometime this week um, as far as June is concerned it's going to be a quiet month um, I'm going to uh, or rather, I'm not going to be buying that much. Um, I've gone and done something that I don't or haven't done for a long time. For the most part, is pre-ordered um, a bunch of titles for July. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be saving a little bit this month just to, to pay for those. Um, I'm still going to be looking. And if I do come across an absolute bargain that I have to get, then I will get them. Or if I see something ridiculously, ridiculous, ugh, can't even speak, ridiculously cheap in the pound shop or in charity shop or even on eBay, that I can uh, trade up at CEX for a decent amount, then you know I might do that. Right now, with what I've got here to trade and the vouchers that I already have, I've maybe got about twenty-two pound to spend in CEX, so. I'll still be definitely grabbing something from them um, as yet what I don't know also last weekend uh, Sainsbury's had a bonus offer on Nectar Points for their 150th anniversary so I managed to grab uh, just over £10 worth of bonus Nectar Points so I've got a £10 voucher on eBay to spend as well so we'll see what I grab with that all that said, uh, that's it for this one. Uh, thanks very much for watching and I will check you next time. Ta now.